Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on refrigeration and how to use the new technology which has come out now onto mobile devices called thermal imaging. Now, there are specialist tools which you can buy for thermal imaging cameras. Uh, there's also thermal imaging meters via uh, Fluke and other companies which are on the market today. But phones now have actually got thermal imaging available. I'm using a cat phone. You can use a Samsung phone, there is a device which you can plug into a Samsung phone or an iPhone where you can actually use thermal imaging by FLIR to actually identify the cold areas on refrigeration and also the hot areas. This will help you identify where the pipes are running in the refrigeration and also help you to understand which areas are getting cold, which areas are getting hot and will help you install electronic thermostats and other devices to your refrigeration. You will also be able to check up the electrical items like things like uh, circuit boards for any hot spots on the circuit boards and so on. So firstly I'm going to use the FLIR technology or thermal imaging to actually find, we have the camera here, now we'll open the fridge up Firstly, let me show you a conventional, this is the older type fridge. The older type fridge, you could actually see the plate in the back of the fridge. Now, just let me remove the interior. Now, using a thermal imaging camera, you can actually see the plate where it is getting cold. So, with the modern fridges, we have a whole plate which is plastic you can't see the absorption plate so if you needed to drill through to fit an electronic thermostat or you wanted to fit the electronic thermostat probe somewhere on this plate you would want it at the bottom of the absorption plate now using thermal imaging camera you can actually see where the plate is the plate starts from just about here and works up to the top this tells me that's where the refrigerant is running through the plate to make the fridge cold. Now we'll just switch over to the older type so you can see the plate in comparison. I will put these pictures, which I take, of these two fridge freezers on the website so you can actually see in detail and move the pictures to get the temperature range. But there you can see the plate at the back is roughly 3.5 degrees on this one. And the plate at the back is about minus one in the bottom right hand corner and about one degree over here. But basically this allows me to know where to put the plates, uh, where to put the thermostatic probe if I was fitting an electronic thermostat. And also it allows me to know that the fridge is working correctly. Now you might also want to know where the pipes are running for the uh, gas expelling the heat. Now I'll turn these two fridge freezers round so you can see. Here we have the two fridges from the back. Now on this one we have the old conventional radiator system which I find is much more efficient than the more modern ones because this has a clear gap away from the insulation on the fridge to expel the heat from the gas which absorbs the heat on the inside of the fridge and expels it on the rear with the more modern ones that they're built into the cabinet. Let me explain. If we look at the back of this fridge and we'll turn the thermal imaging on, you can actually see the heat on the radiator and the temperature on the compressor. The temperature is about 60 degrees on this one and you can actually see the heat on the radiator, the radiator is about 40 degrees and our room temperature is about 26 degrees. Now if we look at the more modern one, on the back of the fridge, again, we can see the compressor. The compressor is slightly cooler because this might be because it hasn't been running so long. Uh, or it might be a smaller or larger compressor and have not having to work so much. But the temperature on the compressor is about 40 degrees. But the back of the fridge is basically air temperature, which is 26, 27 degrees. Now, there's a big difference between these two fridge freezers. And the reason I say that, I'm going to turn this fridge round. Now, I know for a fact that the 
pipework on this fridge is hidden inside this cabinet. Now on this one the compressor has only just started but you can see clearly where the pipework is running inside. Now I will take a picture of this so you can actually see the two and I'll put them on the website and you can actually slide the pictures on the website from right to left or up and down. But I'll just take a picture of that one and we'll have a look at the bottom of this one and I'll quickly take a picture for you of the back of this one and I'll also rotate the fridge freezer all the way back to show you the other side and again you can see the pipework there now the reason why I do not like this system is you have insulation and the insulation is being made warm so it must not be that efficient compared to the old type where the radiator was on the back I think it's just cheaper for the manufacturers to produce them this way but in my opinion they can't be as energy efficient because it's actually warming up the surroundings around the food but I'll put all these on the website so you can see I will also put some links on the website to different thermal imaging equipment which you can buy you can source it reasonably cheaply nowadays it's come down drastically in price and I'll also put the pictures that we put on of the two fridge freezers to show you the comparisons I hope you enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching and please remember to shop at the website Please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. And we have hundreds of videos on washing machine repairs, tumble dryers, dishwashers, ovens, cookers, hobs, extractors, etc. And if you did find this help video helpful, please remember you can always support the website by donating to us. Thanks very much indeed for watching.